my voice gives, uh, sort of, sorry, I'm going to do this until my voice gives out uh, solving these review problems on my review sheet. So, uh, problem one was the classic scene from the first Star Wars movie where Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia Organa are trying to escape from a bunch of stormtroopers and they are, uh, what's the deal? They have to uh, swing from one platform to another across this gaping chasm. Chasm, sorry. Uh, chasm, wow, that was bad. So they've got a five meter long rope and they swing from one side to the other and go through a path roughly like that, okay? That's their path, horribly drawn. And we wanna know how much tension the rope has to take. They go, we assume they move at a constant speed of five meters per second. What I really want is for you to look at what happens when they are at the bottom of the swing going at five point, let's say 5.00 meters per second. And they have a 5.00 meter long rope. So let's pretend that says 5.00 meters. Good enough. Okay, so um, let's start with what happens when they go through the swing here uh, around this circular path because the rope is five meters long, right? So they go to a five meter long path with a radius of, oh, that's ugly. Let's see, let's try red. Let's see if that's any better. So this five meter long path has a radius of 5.00 meters. Okay, wow, now this red and green bit here looks like an old uh, 3D black and, well, anyway, whatever. Okay, uh, you know, you wore 3D glasses before they had polarized filters. One would be red and one would be green, and so you'd see it in black and white, but you'd see uh, the printing, uh, whatever. Okay, so um, anyway, they're going across at five meters per second. So they're going around the circle at five meters per second. What the hell is that? Okay, sorry about that. Um, then their centripetal acceleration is, of course, toward the center of the circle. And the formula for centripetal acceleration is, as always, V squared over R. So you've got, uh, well, hang on. You don't have uh, 25, but you have, what happened to me? Help. Come on, back up. There we go. Okay, V squared over R, which is going to be 5.00 meters per second squared, sorry, all of it squared over 5.00 meters. And what that's going to give you, obviously, one of the fives is going to cancel. So that's going to give you that your centripetal acceleration is 5.00 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration they have as they go through this uh, this swing here at the very bottom, and we've got to figure out how much tension the rope has to be able to take to accommodate that. So this is where we do a free body diagram now, Luke and Leia at the bottom of the swing. So FBD of the uh, Luke and Leia. Okay, so here is uh, the dot that represents them. The forces acting on them, well, when they're at the bottom of the swing here, they're in the middle of the chasm, they're not touching anything. So a normal force or friction are straight out, there is tension from the rope. So there you go, FT. And then of course there is gravity. So there's your MG. Okay, so uh, let's see, we don't have axes yet, but we don't need them. So sum of forces is MA. And that concludes our raw free body diagram. Now to actually break this into components, oh, hold on, gotta pause. Uh, hope I can 